Good morning, Marietta. I'm Sierra Lea. And I'm Rafael Del Busso, and you're watching Blue Devil News. So there's a lot of good things going on in Marietta hallways. Yeah, just like the computer you build with the special needs kids. I've heard about that. Let's check it out. There's been a lot of noise coming from E Hall lately, but it's not coming from the hallway traffic. It's coming from this classroom, E104, where the special ed department has transformed this classroom from this to this. The program that we're doing uh, here at Merritt High School is called Transitional Vocational Electronics Training, TVET for short. Uh, what it is is our students actually train in recycling electronics uh, and by doing that they actually take electronics apart and we recycle it and then send it out to the recycling company that turns that into recycled materials and sells it off. So basically we're teaching job skills through electronics recycling. Uh, well I enjoy the, the program in particular because I think it does a great job of getting job skills to students that uh, may struggle uh, out in the world with job skills. So by practicing them here at the high school, I think it prepares them better for the real world where they'll go out to work. Uh, specifically, I think what's great about the program is it's very interactive and we're able to move around quite a bit. So it's not just a sitting down session all day. We do production reports on the students and what we found is the students have become more productive over their time in the program. Initially, when we started out, each of the students would work realistically about an hour and a half, which is about the length of a class period. And then after about an hour and a half, they would start to struggle with staying focused on the job at hand. But now we have students that are able to work two and a half and three hours without any problems. So I think it does quite a good job of, of moving them forward uh, with their interactions. Uh, you know, one of the things I didn't mention is just their ability to be able to talk to their supervisor appropriately, which is something any, any employee needs to understand how to do, how to ask questions and when it's appropriate and when it's not. Uh, and I think that happens on the coffee cart, interacting with customers, that all of those experiences are very good for the students. Through this program, the special ed kids have developed an outstanding skill that will follow them through their high school career and in their lives. This was an eye-opening experience for everyone here. This is Jamie Velasquez, BDM. That was really cool of them to do that. Yeah, I think so too, but I missed breakfast this morning and I'm so hungry. Dude, there's so many places to go eat. Really? Where? All throughout the school, look. I am so hungry. What's up, Rasheed? Dude, where did you get all that food? Oh, well, I just walked by a couple classes and picked all of this up. Look, man, just, just watch this video. They would sell the chocolate chip cookies, um, and so what we do is we bake the cookies uh, during my plan period. Um, either first block or second block this semester and then after that um, I have some of my FBLA students sell the cookies between passing of classes. I sell Little Debbie cakes and I predominantly and I do Hot Cheetos. Hot Cheetos I sell for Skills USA but the Little Debbies I sell for my film program so me selling these Little Debbie cakes will help us do that. Also it's going to help us go to competitions and compete. So if students come in and say, hey, we want to compete, I can say, okay, you can run the little Debbie cart, you can sell stuff, and a portion of those profits will go to your funds for competing um, for film. Okay, so right now I've been selling out of my room a lot, but we go down to the end of E-Hall and we sell. But right now, end of E-Hall, predominantly during lunch. Um, we sell muffin stall profit and fund our trips to Athens. Um, Harry and Covington, Georgia. Also, the money goes towards charities and other things we donate to. The money goes to our club for FCCLA and it also goes to the profit from the muffins that we get in. So, every dollar is about 40 cents that we receive on every muffin that we um, sell. Um, well, I sell tea, it's to raise for, um, it's, it's to raise for their culinary um, part. So like, for instance, um, for the when we cook, 
it's free because she uses the money that we raise to buy all the ingredients, which is why we never pay for it when we cook. As well as our competitions that she has um, when we compete. As well as we have Devil Rock Cafe, which is where we make food to the teachers and, and, son, and seniors. Yeah, so that was cool. I guess I know where I'm getting my snacks from now on. Yeah, me too. Are you loving the spring weather? Most definitely, but do you think that it'll last? I don't know. Rashid's here with the weather. Good morning, Sierra Ralph. I am Rashid Laresh with your weather. Today we have some clouds, and clouds mean showers, and showers means puddles. Man, those are some cute puppies. And back to you, Ralph Sierra. Thanks, Rashid. <laughs> Uh, Sierra. Uh, wait, wait, was that Dragon Tales? Yeah, me and Asian Martin were talking about it just the other day. They did a video about it. Really? Let's check it out. Um, are you tired? I'm tired. Do you ever miss the good old days? What do you mean? Like, childhood. Like, wake up early on a Saturday morning and watch cartoons on childhood? Yeah, or like... Fall asleep on the couch and then wake up in your bed type magic childhood. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was so amazing back then. You know, me and my, like all my cousins, we spent like hours outside running around getting in trouble. And, I don't know, we all just suddenly grew up and everybody has responsibilities now. I don't even have time to eat cereal anymore. And I used to love like big bowls oh, of cereal. Cinnamon Toast Crunch, yes. I don't know. I mean, one thing I can say about us, though, like kids these days, we still keep up with that, you know, 90s vibe, you know. The nostalgia factor is still there with us. We bring everything back, like everything we do. Dancing, the way we dress, everything. That we still keep up with the 90s. Me, personally, I still keep up with the 90s. It was pretty cool. I think so too. Remember Marietta, you, you do, do you and stay true blue. blue.